when I was 21. What is going on guys, Kooks46 here bringing you another MLB The Show 17 Diamond Dynasty video. We got a brand new program introduced to the game today for a Diamond player. He is a brand new legend and it is the first Impact Veteran program that we've got so far in the game. And the legend is Roy Oswalt. Taking a look at the actual card that you get for completing the program, this card looks actually pretty good. 93 overall diamond, 2010 impact veteran. He's got a four seam, a change up, a sinker, a 12 6 curve, and a slider. His stamina is 91, the hits through nine is at 94, 90 on the clutch, 79 79 on the velocity and break, 79 control. Pretty good fielding for a little pitcher. And you know, guys, this, this could be a good right handed arm for your rotation. Like, if I get this card, which I probably will pretty, pretty quickly. He might go in my rotation. So let's take a look at what you have to do in order to get this Roy Oswalt card. So here are the missions in the Oswalt program. You have Impact Pitching. Match Roy Oswalt's 2010 statistics with Impact Veteran Series starting pitchers in Diamond Dynasty games. So you just have to, uh, you know, build up the stats. 211 innings pitched, 13 wins, 193 strikeouts, and two complete game shutouts. This one's really easy. It just takes a lot of time because you have to, you know, just get that many innings and that many strikeouts, etc., etc. But you don't have to do it in online. You can do it against the computer next one is august 22nd 2010 tally at least eight strikeouts and get the win with a philadelphia phillies starting pitcher in the same diamond dynasty game easy enough uh, just eight strikeouts one win and you can do this offline as well september 12th 2010 pitch a complete game shutout get the win and tally at least six strikeouts with an impact veteran series starting pitcher in the same diamond dynasty game another one really easy against the computer you can do this on rookie just it's quick and easy then you have Roy Oswalt trade. In 2010, the Phillies traded these three players to acquire Roy Oswalt from the Astros. Collect the live series items of Jonathan Villar, J.A. Happ, and Anthony Ghost for progress in the Oswalt program. Let me go ahead and collect these guys. Uh-oh, I don't have Anthony Ghost. Let me go grab him real quick before he starts going for a ton on the market. I will pay 2K for him. I don't care. I'll buy him. I'll buy him. That's crazy, man. A free agent card going for like 2K. But there we go. We've got uh, this part of the mission done, or this part of the program done. 4,000 XP, 200 stubs from that one, so we can go ahead and redeem that in advance. The next one is exchange Philadelphia Phillies player items. I've already completed the Phillies collection, so I can go ahead and get rid of like all these dudes. I really don't need any of these guys. I don't plan on doing their epic anytime soon, so I really don't care if I have to go back and buy a couple dudes here and there, but... It's fine. I'm just going to exchange all of these dudes. I have no use for any of these guys. Uh, dude, I have a lot of Phillies guys. Seven of this guy, two of this dude, this guy, five uh, Pedros. Jeez, bro. All right, there we go. 100% complete on this one. I went ahead and I exchanged pretty much all the commons and a couple bronzes. I kept all the silvers and stuff. So that one's pretty easy. And then we're going to go ahead and, and redeem this 250 stubs and 2,500 XP. And then the last one, tough to hit. Collect three pitchers who have a hit through nine attribute rating of 80 or above. So I can go ahead and do this really quick. So there we go. I can just collect three dudes except. And there we go. That's three out of six Oswalt program missions already done. The rest of them are all about gameplay. So let's go to the actual program and see what I'm at. I'm at 45% complete. So I've got two program packs and a little loot package. And there we go, guys. So we are working our way towards Roy Oswalt, but there is still more stuff to cover in this update. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. They also added two new diamonds for the flawless rewards for Battle Royale. They're Eric Gagne and Joey Votto. Unfortunately, I can't see the stats of any of these guys yet because these are going to go live once the calendar goes to June. So nobody's gotten them yet. They're not on the market as of the moment I'm recording this. So I really couldn't tell you the stats. Just Eric Gagne is a 97 diamond breakout from the 2002 season. That was actually one of my dream cards before this season started. If you guys remember the dream card series that we had leading up to the release of MLB The Show 7. Eric Gagne was one of them, so I'm happy to see that legend is in the game. Joey Votto, 96 overall diamond, 2010 hardware card. You got to know those hitting numbers are out of control, so I'd like to see those stats when I can, but unfortunately right now at this very moment, can't see them. That is not all. We also have new set five standard packs with two new exclusive rewards inside of those. The first one being 97 overall impact veteran CC Sabathia from 2008. You guys know many of us already have the diamond 90, I think it's 91 overall CC Sabathia, or it might be a 90, I can't remember. But 
That is the one from the Conquest reward. This is when he's with the Brewers in 2008. Look at the 91 break, 70 velocity, uh, 79 control, 79, 78 hits in case through 9, 83, 87 uh, walks and home runs through 9, 99 on the stamina. This dude is a workhorse. He's a beast. So this would be a really nice card to pull out of the set 5 packs. We also got another new Nolan Ryan card. Look at this, guys. Four seam fastball with a circle change and curveball and a two seam. This is 94 overall diamond impact veteran when he was with the Rangers in 19. 89, 94 stamina, 95 hits through 9, 99 strikeouts through 9, 84 and 99 on the velocity and break. Really, really good pitcher right here, guys. This is a very, very good card. This is kind of like a, a poor man's Nolan Ryan, but it's still a very expensive card, so it's like this is a, a very, very good card to have in your rotation. A lot of good pitchers coming out today, guys. We will, of course, open up these set five standard packs in another video later today, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that pack opening. We always do that. Every time new packs come out, we're always opening them. We also got some more new pitchers into the game that will help you complete the Oswalt program so you can try to get it as done as fast as possible. Anibal Sanchez, 91 overall diamond, 85 stamina, 79 hits through nine, 82 Ks through nine, 77, 82 on the velocity and the break. He's got a changeup, he's got a sinker, he's got a four seam. When you get a guy with a sinker, really good in this game. So a 2013 card, nice one here, Anibal Sanchez. Also got an 88 overall Ron Guidry from the Yankees, uh, 1985 season. This guy's got a four seam, a slider, a changeup, a cutter, and a curve. 91 stamina, 88 uh, walks through nine, 50 and 76 velocity break. I wouldn't really recommend this card too much. I mean, if you're just trying to grind innings against the computer, it's not going to be that bad. But if you're actually trying to use it in like a head-to-head -head game, wouldn't really recommend it. Another 88 overall, this one is Mike Scott from the Astros. He's got a splitter, a slider, a curve, and a four seam. 85 stamina, 79, 77 hits and Ks, 73, 56 walks and home runs, 84 clutch, 84 break. Another one I wouldn't really recommend, but I mean, it's not that bad. I just... Yeah, you, you could get better. We also got an 86 overall 1999 Brett Saberhagen four seam slider curveball change and two seam. This one is probably the worst one of so far. 96 walks around is pretty good, but the 48 and 71 velocity and break. This card seems to be very hittable and he doesn't even have a sinker. And then we've got impact veteran Phil Necro knuckleball sinker curveball screwball and four seam 80 break. <laughs> Look at the velocity three on the velocity. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. I haven't seen a velocity that low in a long time but 87 stamina 83 clutch another impact veteran all these guys that i just went over from anibal sanchez to phil necro these are all like stuff you can pull in packs or post game rewards stuff like that just regular cards that you can get like you know throughout the just regularly playing the game but there you go guys that is gonna do it for this update to diamond dynasty like i said make sure to come back later to the channel to see the pack opening that we are gonna do if you guys did enjoy this video though make sure you drop a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think of all of the new stuff do you like the oswalt program are you a fan of the new cards added into the game? Do you think you're going to complete this program quickly, etc, etc? Let me know all that stuff down in the comments, guys. But other than that, that's going to do it. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, that is all I have for you in this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And until the next one, I will see you later.